The Zika virus disease is caused by a virus transmitted mainly by mosquitoes of the genus Aedes. Subjects may develop moderate fever, rash, exanthema, conjunctivitis, muscle and joint pain, discomfort or headache. The Zika virus took its toll in 2016, where had thousands of mothers and their babies were highly affected by the disease derived from mosquitoes. The Centers for Disease Control CDC, then announced that mothers who were struck by Zika are 20 times more prone to have children with birth defects. Uh, just with each test one by one, it, it gives us more and more of a better idea of what direction to go in. We are working on something that's a little bigger than what we are. This is moving at a unprecedented speed. Right? It's moving quite quickly. We manufacture a vaccine within six months, from the very beginning to the very end. Um, we use past experiences with other viruses to try to relate to Zika to better understand it. The vaccine has already been completed. We're testing the vaccine as well. Once it's given to that person, all of those samples come back to us and we tell them, yes, it works. It creates neutralizing antibodies. It's what we want. Our lab has been determined to be one of the testing labs for almost all the, the human clinical trials. So the soldiers that we have in our lab will be part of that. One of the things that I've always done is I've always asked for soldiers. Uh, because I think when it comes to the soldiers, you, you get to teach them something that they're probably not going to encounter in soldier. I actually wanted to go to a field unit and got stationed here, and it's it's turned out to be a wonderful experience for me. I, I feel really lucky, like really lucked out. Making sure the vaccine works well, that all these tests uh, that say yes, the vaccine is ready to go inside a human person for testing. Once all of that is completed, and hopefully by September of this year, that will be done. Uh, then clinical trials will start.